just how they keep me out You know I'm trying to believe it Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh yeah, you get it I'm so happy to give you smoke for us With another tutorial and this time it's going to be an in-depth tutorial about how to progress for your pull-up. Pull-ups are a great exercise because it targets a bunch of muscles such as your lats, rhomboids, traps, shoulders, posterior delts, and even your core. I know right? It's a great exercise for your full upper body so if you guys want to learn how to progress in a pull-up come join me and let's go. Okay, so the first drill that we're going to be doing is assisted pull-ups. We can do it on the assisted pull-up machine, but I know some people prefer to do it with bands. The difference between that is just preference. When it comes to the band workouts, the thicker the resistance band is, the more resistance and the more help you're going to have when it comes to doing your pull-up assisted. Now, the smaller the resistance bands are, of course, you're not going to have as much help. So let me show you the difference between the two. So these are two different resistance bands. Let me come closer to the camera so this one's a little bit thicker in size of course you're going to get it more assistance and more help with this one as opposed to this one being a lot skinnier so you're going to be utilizing more of your muscles more of your strength once you get to a smaller size now they do have different sizes when it comes to resistance bands a lot more thicker maybe a lot more skinnier than this but um, <laughs> but since at my gym we only have a few sizes i decided to show you those so i'm going to show you how to do an assisted pull up with the resistance band but i just wanted to kind of explain the difference between the sizes and how it can help you first things first is getting the resistance band on the bar so what you're gonna do is put it over the bar you're gonna wrap it over your pull-up bar you're gonna take this side and you're gonna loop it through and you're gonna pull to make a knot so that way it's nice and secure next you're gonna put your leg into the resistance band please do not fall once you get your leg or your foot into the resistance band, make sure that you're comfortable. You're going to reach up and grab the pull-up bar or the handles, whatever you're using. And then I like to cross my leg behind me. And then you're going to drive yourself up. So this is how an actual pull-up will feel. It's just that you're having additional help with the resistance band. And like mentioned before, the smaller the resistance band, the less help you're going to have. The thicker the resistance band, the more assistance you're going to have with your pull-up. As your strength becomes better, you want to go down in the resistance. So I say aim for three sets of 10 with the thicker resistance and then move on. And next I'll show you the assisted pull-up machine. This is another alternative. If you don't have resistance bands or access to resistance bands, but you do have access to a pull-up machine, this is another alternative for assisted pull-ups. So this is what you're going to be doing. Hey, Tanisha. It's my, say hey to YouTube. Hey. It's my girl, Tanisha. <laughs> so what you have here is your weight. So the highest weight that you have is going to be the more resistance and more help you're going to have with your pull-up. So depending on how much help you need, you know, you'll pick the resistance that you're comfortable with that you're able to work your way up to three sets of 10. You don't wanna make it too easy, but you don't wanna make it extremely difficult to where you can't even pull yourself up. So pick a comfortable weight, you know, and then start working your way up once that weight becomes easier. So if 94 is too easy, you can bang out three sets of 10 on those, move up to 88 pounds, and then so on and so forth until you get up to, you know, 10 pounds, and then no pounds to where you're doing them on your own. So what you're gonna do is place your foot onto the assistance portion of the assistance pull-up machine and then you're gonna place your hands on top of the bars put your foot right on there your second foot make sure you're comfortable and stable and then you're gonna drive yourself up. So like the pull-ups with the resistance fans this also is an assisted pull-up but you'll have weight so you have a lot more to play with when it comes to weight and comfortability when it comes to the assistance as opposed to the resistance bands with the resistance bands you have limited range when it comes to the assistance so i like this a little bit more if you need a little bit more help and assistance when it comes to your pull up just because it has an additional weight 
All right, next exercise we're gonna be doing is our inverted row. Again, if you do not know how to do an inverted row, I do have a breakdown on how to progress on an inverted row. So check that video out, but this is gonna be an actual inverted row, so let's get started. So for setting up for inverted rows, first of all, you wanna make sure that the bar is high enough to where you're fully extending your arms. So let me double check before I start. All right, so I can fully extend my arms with this. So now we're gonna do an inverted row. So let me clip this on my body. What you're gonna do is place your arms shoulder width apart, making sure they're not too wide, not too close, just right. Making sure that you're not directly under the bar. You're gonna go up, making sure that you're squeezing your core and your glutes, making sure that core is engaged, and you're gonna drive your chest towards the bar. shrug on the bar. This is the initial thing that you're going to be doing to start your pull up. So it's basically like the trigger before you actually pull yourself up. These are very important exercises to get your lats engaged, the scapular muscles engaged, your shoulder muscles engaged to really get that initial step for the pull up. So I'm going to show you how to do a scapular pull. Very simple exercise but very effective. So let's get started. So you want to make sure your grip is nice and tight. You're going to drive yourself off the platform, making sure you're nice and relaxed while you're hanging there. And then you're going to do a shoulder shrug on the bar. You see those muscles contracting as I'm pulling up. You see I'm engaging my lats and my lower traps. This drill is also great because you are hanging on the bar. So it also helps with that grip strength that you need when you're doing your pull up. Next exercise that we're going to be doing is a dead hang. Super simple and it's exactly how it sounds. You're going to be hanging on the bar. So this exercise actually helps with your grip strength. If you are not very you know, keen on your grip strength and you need to work on that, please do these and incorporate those into your workout routine when it comes to pull-ups. I think they're a great exercise. So I'm going to show you how to do a dead hang. Super simple but effective. So what you're gonna do is set yourself up, make sure that you're gripping the bar or the handles, whatever you're utilizing to do your pull up. Then what you're gonna do is step off the platform, make sure you're nice and secure. And what you're gonna do is just hang there. At first, when you initially start these dead hangs, of course your grip strength is not gonna be the best if you're just starting off. So when you're first starting off, of course you're not gonna be hanging there that long. So what I say is aim for five to 10 seconds at first. And once five to 10 seconds becomes easier, you increase your time. The longer you can hang there, the better your grip strength is. And that's it guys. These are all the drills that are great for your pull-ups. And there you have it guys i hope you guys like that tutorial if you are interested in continuing and progressing in your calisthenics journey i'm going to be doing more tutorial videos on how to break down the four basic i'm going to be doing videos for the four basic things that you need to start your calisthenics journey so continue to subscribe like and follow me and share and i'll see you guys in the next video